As part of efforts to correct the long-standing imbalances that have marginalized women entrepreneurs from accessing public procurement opportunities, the Lagos State Public Procurement Agency has launched the Lagos State Gender Responsive Procurement Policy, which will enhance the abilities and market presence of women owned businesses. The Director General of the Lagos State Public Procurement Agency, Fatai Onoforte, who made this known on Friday, says the policy is the state government's commitment to dismantle barriers and create a more equitable and inclusive procurement environment. Speaking further, on Onoforte stressed that equipping women with necessary skills and knowledge and providing access to procurement opportunities for them, among other critical issues, were considered in drafting the policy. 80% contracts are won by men and 20% contracts by women. It is, it is an imbalance, thing. it's an unjust situation. It simply means we have 100 people, only 20 women have the chance of winning contracts in government. And that is something that the procurement agency, working in partnership with UN women, as approved again by Governor Abadine Sonru, wants to change. Thinking administrator to look into this imbalance and say, uh, procurement, please, I want you to change this narrative. I want more women to come to your agency and be able to access contracts from government. We are advocating that the government should just allow us to have 10% more for women or more because women cannot be sitting at home when they go to work so after that was I saw me, we had procurement officers meeting where we teach them on this gender gender responsive procurement as in women to be more more, more women to be involved in the procurement process so all of them where they were sensitized then at the Lowman's Hotel so that they would take it to the ministries that they belong to. We just we pick them randomly from different ministries and agencies so that they go back and tell the story. We want small women, women own business or women their business to benefit more from government contracts.